It's the WNBA here on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Minnesota Lynx playing against the New York Liberty. And from the home of the Liberty, I'm Blake Suniga, courtside with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. Thanks for tuning in for this one. And both of these teams love to push it. Tim, what are some things that all great fast break teams have in common? Great defense. That's the first thing. You have to force turnovers. You also have to pass the ball well. Get it up the court. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have some fast players, too. And just as important is knowing when to run. You know, pushing it is great, sure. But doing it in the wrong situation can lead to turnovers. And doing it too fast can turn it over, too. With a package of offensive skills and a high basketball IQ, Moore is tough for anyone to defend. Now here's Charles. Over Collier. Charles, no good. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciated it. Boyd with it. She's covered by Sims. Here in the first with a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Zowie B. The offensive rebound. Charles. Good. There aren't many better in league history on the O board. Charles is tenacious on the glass and getting the hoop. Outside Robinson. Now here's Moore. Clock at six. Outside Sims. Shoots over Boyd. Second shot opportunity. Outside Robinson. Can't knock in the three. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. Here's Zowie B. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. And she'll shoot two. And the foul goes against Minnesota. It's her first trip to the line. Amanda Zowie B. One for two. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. Well, the Lynx have had so many leaders during their fantastic run as a franchise, but right now, you have to say this is Maya Moore's team, and she just does so much as a leader on both ends of the floor. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Again, it's the Liberty missing. And more the versatile small forward. She can dominate in so many ways. Maya has those quick hands on defense and gets you so many extra possessions. Great spot up shooter from outside. Very hard to keep in front of you. Also, when she drives to the basket. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot. So she'll go to the line. A three point play opportunity.
Well, teams are always looking for players that can make an immediate impact, and Nafisa Collier sure fits that mold. She earned All-Star honors in just her first WNBA season as she replaced the injured Asia Wilson. Now here's Nurse. Here's Charles. The shot misses. Nafisa Collier with some nice D. Pass to Moore. Yes, great play by Odyssey Sims to set it up. And thinking about Collier's all-star rookie season, I know she was an injury replacement, guys, but she really earned it. No doubt about it at all, Blake. Uh, she's got a wide-ranging skill set and is a true difference maker on the hardwood. She's a strong finisher around the rim, and defensively, she's really got the instincts to help her game take off. And it's blocked by Sylvia Fowles. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. The Lynx with the lead. Outside more. Down low. Sims laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passing. Now here's Nurse. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Right side, Boyd. Charles down to five on the shot clock. Here's Nurse triple. After shooting easily 40% on threes in college, Nurse was under 30% her rookie season in the WNBA. This shows you how huge the adjustment is to the professional game. Now here is Sims. Pass to fouls. Moore. The three ball. Terrific work on the offensive glass as she picks up two. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Charles. Off target with the jump hook. Outside Robinson. Collier outside. Outside Robinson, pass to Moore. Here's Fowles, defended by Nurse. Here's Sims, and a miss there on the triple. The Liberty Trail to the inside. Here's Allen, it's hauled in by Moore. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Collier with it, working on Charles. Off on the layup. Outside Boyd. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Pass to Charles. Over Collier. Charles with the bucket. Just some old school to her game. Charles not afraid of scoring in the in-between area of the court. Sims up top. Boyd covering. fouls they grab their own miss count it they're not rotating time out, time out. quickly enough on defense down low they've got to provide more resistance inside new york calls timeout and we see it all too often tim a good team gets up for a big game gets the win and then loses to an inferior club the very next night for really blake what is a quote-unquote inferior team these are the best players in the world sure some teams do have worse records However, on any night, any team can step up. Yeah, the season is a grind. You know, head coaches always tell me their biggest challenge is keeping your team locked in. And if you're not 100% locked in, good luck beating anyone. And I mean, even the lower teams in WNBA.
And so it's New York with it. It's a five-point game. Outside Durr. It's hauled in by the Lynx. Well, you have to like the work on the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Now here is Sims. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Shots good by Dantas. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking that rim, Brian. That's right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other. Here's Durr. From outside the arc, and it's rebounded by Sylvia Fowles. Now Christmas Kelly. Now here is Sims. Talbot, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Sims with the bucket. A disciplined player with a consistent offensive attack. Sims alters the game in so many different ways. Now here's Durr. They trail by nine points. Zowie B shot is off. She's going to play her way right onto the bench if she continues to shoot the ball like she has this quarter. In transition, here come the Liberty. Hartley with it. Pass to right. Here's Gray. Asia Durr on the wing, covered by fouls. Hands it from downtown. With the appropriate range and release to sink from downtown, Durr is without a doubt a skilled shooter. Here's Talbot. Outside Sims. And she drops in the layup off glass. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Now here's Durr. Steps back and shoots. The rebound by Sims. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Teardrop shot. And she lays it in. Shaky defense down low again. It's just been a mismatch in the paint. I'm sure they didn't go into this one expecting to get battered like this inside. Here's Durr. Pass to Hartley. Now Zawi B. She's covered by Sims. Hartley outside. Odyssey Sims with the steal. No good. Those chances, usually the two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. The first quarter concludes and a double digit lead on the scoreboard. Links ahead, up 10. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. Well, not exactly a neck and neck game, but as the second quarter starts, there is plenty of time for a comeback. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? Good effort. Very tight defense from them through the first quarter. Really a big part of why they are up right now. You know, their defense has been on point. Pass to Shepard. No good. Misses her first shot of the night. And the Liberty with possession here. Trailing by 10. A second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season, though, 
And I think that she can become a premier talent pretty soon. Now here is Sims. Ten point lead. This is their biggest lead. A true student of the game. Sims spends hours studying film to be the best she can be. Here's Hartley. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Now here's Durr. Tight defense on her. Well, free throws are definitely not a weakness in Durr's game. Durr is just a player that doesn't want any holes in her game. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Asia Durr. Two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That one is no good. One of the more unselfish young players in the league, Asia Durr. Her college coach once said that she would come out at halftime and sometimes ask, did I shoot too much? She just wants to be a great teammate, and I admire that. Now here's Wright. Pass is how we be. We're now around a minute and a half into the second quarter. Can't hit that one. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Here's Talbot. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. The D got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Pass to Gray. Hartley. Over Sims. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Well, Durr is certainly a player that always puts the team success over her individual success. How important is that for team chemistry? Oh, Blake, I got to say it's huge because it helps your teammates play looser and more free because they know what they can expect from you. And that mindset is contagious. So when everyone else catches on, big things can happen. Well, Jessica Shepard definitely did not have an ideal rookie season. Tore her ACL not even 10 games into the season. And the first one drops. And we know Shepard tore her ACL early in her rookie season. Brian, but what was the key to her returning to the hardwood even better? Well, it starts with commitment, Blake. She was 110% locked into her rehab work, and I'm impressed with that kind of effort. Now, she was a tremendous scorer and rebounder in college, so she was motivated to make sure she would recover from injury and bring that to the WNBA world as well. Hardly eaten good. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Here's Talbot. Pass to Shepard. Back Benley. Moore with it. He's picked up by Charles. Just five on the clock to the middle. From the low block. Back Benley. He gets it in there. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Pass to Charles. Now here's Gray, covered by Moore. And here is Hartley. Now here's Charles. Doesn't go that time. 
And Minnesota the other way now. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. And that 10 rebound advantage, he tells you all you need to know. Not to mention what it says in the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. She did well to recognize the size mismatch and immediately cash in with the mid-range jump shot. Now here's Hartley. the glass to finish the layup. Minnesota dominating the game. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Pass to Moore. It's over Hartley. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. Nurse outside. Charles. Fades. Maya Moore comes up with the rebound. So the Lynx now. Pass to Talbot. Here's Shepard. Dantas defended by Nurse. Shots good by Dantas. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. Here's Charles. Gray outside. Hartley. Here's Charles. An easy two points on the layup. When it comes to scoring in the paint, Tina Charles is as good as anyone in the history of this league. Has every post move in the book. Here's Talbot. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Well done to finish that one off. And here is Nurse. And the layup's good I'm off the my glass. Mind. What a dangerous player in the pick and roll. Nurse knows when to take it. That's the key. Knowing when to pass, knowing when to shoot. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. dominating the game. Right side Moore. And Maya Moore gets double team. Fouls. Pass to Robinson. Six on the shot clock. Back to Fouls. Nurse with the double team. And there's the foul. It'll be on Kia Nurse. That's her first foul. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. Outside Boyd. Pass to Charles. Four on the clock. Nurse. Christmas Kelly covering. Jacks up a three. Allen's shot is off. And not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them inside. What a clean look. Big credit to Christmas Kelly. She had the awareness to find the open player. Outside Boyd. Charles. Pass to Nurse. Boyd with it. Good. 
good. And here are the links now. 18 points separating the teams, and that's the biggest lead of the game. Now Nurse. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. That's a heads-up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Christmas Kelly outside. Pass to Fouls. For three, Maya Moore. New York with the rebound. Well, they're in the lead, but she's still been frustrated offensively. Moore with the steal. And they're running. And that one's good. Fouls. A sound scorer like Fouls has to be able to score buckets through some contact. And really, she's as resilient as they come. Now here's Boyd. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Here's Nurse. Here's Charles. For the basket, her fifth of the game. She's missed six shots against those five mates. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the rookie of the year with Connecticut. No hesitation at all on the alley -oop. Saw her teammate with a path to the hoop and bang. Lobbed it right up there for her. And she was ready for it. Elevated and made the catch. And chose the conservative finish with the nice, easy layup. Tim, you did that a lot, but not because uh, of uh, being conservative, more so because you couldn't really dunk. I now call the Liberty. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. He'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Boyd. Outside Charles. Outside Durr. Six to shoot. Here's how we be. Robinson covering. The shot, no good. Sylvia fouls with the defensive effort. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Uh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It's set to tone. Now here's Boyd looking for her first basket still in this one. Inside. Here's Charles. Good for her sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. More points for Charles. Watch out when she gets going. She won the 2016 scoring title, scoring over 21 per game for the Liberty. Fouls down low. That's how we be on her. And that one's good, Collier. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown tonight. Charles, no good. to Robinson. Shoots over right. Some solid defense from Kenesha Wright. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Links ahead, delivering the blowout. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. One player who's been getting it done is Tina Charles. She broke out her entire arsenal of post moves in the first half, and every one of them was working. Yeah, and I'm going to call her the magician because I think she might have even a few more tricks up her sleeve, and I think she's going to break them out as we start heading down the stretch. And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Now, here's Robinson. Odyssey Sims drawing the double team. Now Robinson. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. For someone that didn't play organized basketball until the eighth grade, Sylvia Fowles developed very quickly. After four years of college basketball, she left no doubt about her game. Shooting two. The first one falls. And despite being a late bloomer to some, Fowles showed the ability to score and rebound at a high level before entering the draft. Yeah, picked second overall in 2008. Tremendous on the interior, solid footwork, terrific post moves, and no question. Fouls earns every single rebound. So she gets them both. You know what they say, hard work pays off, and Fouls is a living example of that. She became a WNBA MVP about a decade after she entered the league. Here's Allen. Here's Nurse. Right between the eyes. But she's been a bright spot in what has otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Go there, go there. Now here is Sims. Boyd covering. Huh. Collier outside. Huh. To the inside. Moore. And she banks in the layup. Was not faced at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little faced. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone, but hey. She, uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? A shot by Nurse, no good. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of Shots difficulty good. on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd Shots say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. Well, when I think of Nafisa Collier, one thing that always comes to mind is her rebounding. She competes hard on the glass, and the numbers show it. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Well, we know Collier is a strong rebounder, guys, uh, but that's a product of something bigger, isn't it? Yeah, Blake, it's about committing yourself to doing the dirty work and just helping out your team however you can. Now, that kind of work ethic is going to translate not just to rebounding, but really all aspects of your game. That free throw, no good. Yeah. 
Good on the second free throw. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Pass to Sims. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. On a nice run here, and look, we know this about Sims. She's a patient, prepared scorer who doesn't usually force things. Now here's Boyd. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. From 12 feet out, and off the glass. That was good. That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And I mean, she, she drains those, so I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. And it's Sims missing. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Pass to Charles. It's stolen by Robinson. Here we go, one on one. Here's Collier. The rebound by the Liberty. And here's Boyd, Robinson covering. To the wing on the left, back to Boyd. Now Charles, covered by Collier. Now here's Boyd, shot clock at five. And the officials whistle a foul Shot's on the good. shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go Shot's to the good. line. And this is her first trip to the line tonight. And that one misses. A California native, Boyd didn't even have to leave the state to play collegiate basketball. That must have felt good. Here's Fouls. And yep, it's good. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Nurse outside. And it's blocked by Maya Moore. Not just a scorer, Maya Moore is a great defender as well. One reason why she's almost always an all-star. Tries again, and it falls all over the rim and in. Her shooting has been so good today. She may have to take it upon herself to get her team out of this hole. Talbot, and she uses the glass on the layup. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah. Nobody likes the traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high quality looks inside. Pass to Charles. Dantas with the steal. Right side more. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. First personal foul. Don't forget, in college, Maya Moore once led Connecticut to 90 straight Maya wins. Moore. Never satisfied with the status quo, she's relentless. Oh. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw and thinking about Moore's dominant college career she wasted no time upon entering the WNBA no not at all Blake you know that's exactly why she was the top pick in the 2011 WNBA draft she won rookie of the year was an all-star and even won a championship and so I just think of Maya as a generational talent who was born ready and no luck that time either and guys, for Maya Moore, a laundry list of accolades. She's got WNBA titles, MVP awards, all-star nods, you name it. And really, by pretty much everyone's account, she's a terrific teammate and mentor. Five on the clock. Four, three. And a shot by Nurse, no good. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. 
They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Here's Shepard. Charity stripe shot. The rebound by Zowie B. And this is what you want from a veteran leader. Moore makes everyone around her better. Her standard of excellence, that's a great example. Consistently, one of the league's best scorers. Dependable, responsible. That's why so many young players around the league look up to Maya Moore. It's Maya Moore on the wing. Hey, 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 watch her, watch her! And the Lynx miss again. A challenging stretch for New York here. Now here's Gray. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Durr with it. And it's Dantas picking her up. A nice shot by Durr. Known more for her shooting than her finishing, but don't you dare sleep on Durr's touch around the basket. Outside more. Pass to Shepard. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to be on Amanda Zowie B. I always appreciate players like Jessica Shepard who can alter a game with their strength. After a conversation with the WNBA coach, Shepard committed herself to losing weight and increasing her athleticism. But her ability to combine the two of those is in part what makes her so effective. That free throw, no good. And we know strength is one area where Shepard shines, but how exactly does that help her on the hardwood, Tim? Well, she's been able to power through opponents when crashing the glass, as we saw her do that time and time again in college. You gotta be able to hold your own down low, and Shepard certainly can do that. And she sinks the second. A great scorer and rebounder in college. I can't wait to see Shepard do that in the WNBA for years and years. Pass to Hartley. Hey, hey, call it out. And Temi Fagbenley with the block. Here's Talbot. She has six. Here's Fag Benley. Right here. Christmas Kelly outside. For three. <laughs> Shepard can't get it to go. Here's New York now. Left side Durr. Stolen away. Christmas Kelly with it. Asia First personal foul. And thinking of what it means to play tough, just ask Korea. Christmas Kelly. Tons of playoff experience under her belt. Not afraid to bang and bump on the court. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for her. And Karima isn't just known for playing hard, she's known for playing smart. Yeah, with her high basketball IQ, she usually has a good grip on what the opponent is thinking. And Karima's got great recognition, which she uses to disrupt passing lanes. It's stolen. High arcing shot. Back Benley, covered by Zowie B. To the paint, here's Shepard. Nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. With the perfect physical frame for interior scoring, Shepard can sure do some damage down low. Now here's Durr. She has six. And she was camped there in the lane, and she gets a three-second call. He's not doing them any favors making those kind of errors especially now with every possession being a critical one for them at this point. It's the worst time for it to happen. 
Here's Talbot. She has six. Pass to Christmas Kelly. Dantas with it. She's guarded by Hartley. Back to Dantas. They get it back. Soft touch off the glass. When you pair Shepard's length with her effort level, you end up with offensive rebounds like that. Hartley outside. Outside dirt. Trying to get back on track. Nails the trade. Boy, not too much respect shown to her by the defenders. Here's Talbot, guarded by Durr. Pass to Fag Menley. Shepard. Over Gray. Shepard, good. You know, she's having a nice quarter, scoring with confidence. Outside Durr. And here's Zowie B. Hartley outside. Talbot pulls it in. Now the Lynx with it. Down low. Shepard can't get it to go. She got ahead of herself there and just lost her concentration. At least that's what I think. Fast as how we be. Over Dantas. Now we be shot is off. Yeah, she's not necessarily a strong interior presence, but she's got to finish those chances when she has them. Here's Talbot. She has six. Clock at six. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. The Lynx on top, opening a huge gap. And, and while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duty with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Here's Johannes. Pass to right. Just her first attempt. Here's Sue. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time, and offensive glass getting it done. Entering the league as the second tallest player in WNBA history, nobody should be surprised at Sue collecting offensive rebounds. Here's Carlton. Here's Brown. Misses the three. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. Pass to Allen. Sue. And here is Wright. Tipped away. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Here's Shepard. It's rebounded by Wright. And in the NBA, we've seen a huge Canadian influence with the Raptors winning the 2019 Finals. Multiple first overall picks from up north as well. And in the WNBA, are, are we seeing a Canadian wave as well, Brian? Well, Blake Canada has put lots of resources into basketball. We're seeing that with women's hoops too, you know. Kia Nurse is one of the young stars, winning some national titles in college, and has performed real well in the WNBA. And Natalie Unchunwa was a top 10 pick like Nurse as well. She's come into her own in the professional game after she also won a national championship in college. I'm expecting to see more Canadian players in the WNBA in coming years.
and that's good as she hits both shots. And here are the links now. Fourth quarter now, we're just about a minute and a half in. Pass to Fagmanle. Christmas Kelly. Just five to shoot. Here's Brown. No good on that shot. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Here's Allen. Sue. He's covered by Brown. To the middle. Here's Green Kakakule. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. They're scoring, not, not car loads, not van loads, boat loads, big boat loads of buckets at the rim today. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get that ball in close time after time. The shot was there for her. She had to take it, and I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Here's Minnesota. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Here's Brown, shoots over right, and foul called as she misses, and she's gonna shoot two free throws. And footwear, clothing, always such a big deal for athletes. With the WNBA, we've seen it taken to another level. With the teams hosting those arrivals of players, you better look sharp. Each player has their own style, own personality, own brand, and the fans two. love it. for a different look here. <laughs> Both shots good from the stripe. Here's Boyd. For those joining us, fourth quarter here, and we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Inside, Charles, rebound by the Lynx. Now Brown. Pass to Moore. Collier outside. Brown with it. Now here's Fowles, defended by Nurse. Outside for Moore. Fires the three. That falls, a nice feed that time from Sylvia Fowles. Moving without the ball, working for good looks. These kinds of things are just second nature to refine scores like Moore. Now here's Boyd. Here's Nurse. Great D that time from Danielle Robinson. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Here's Fowles. Banked in off the glass. And she's really one of the most consistent scorers in the WNBA. Fouls a career 60% shooter. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Back to Nurse. And the growth of the WNBA, like the NBA and other sports leagues, driven more these days by the stars of the game. How much does it mean to the league as a whole to see the emergence of these new WNBA stars? Yeah, it's the lifeblood of the league, really. Fans want to see the best. It's a star-driven league. So the key is replacing the older superstars with the fresh new one. And now in the WNBA, we've seen an influx of talent with each draft. And right now, the league is in great hands with young stars like Asia Wilson, Kelsey Club, Kelsey Mitchell, just to name a few. Now here's Nurse. Outside Charles. Two silver fouls. Charles with the bucket. You think you have good defense? You need great defense. Charles is just too good. Pass to Moore. Collier. Now Brown. Good D, good D. And 
and the foul called on Nafisa Collier. That is her first foul of the game. Now here's Boyd. Here's Sue. Pass to Charles. And stolen by Collier. Outside more. And guys, the way the game is played today, more wide open, fast pace, does that put more strain on bigs physically? Yeah, I'd say so. Running up and down the court, it's always physically draining, especially for bigs. But as the game adapts, so do the players. So I think they'll be okay in the long run. Well, yeah, and, and today's WNBA players are such great athletes, so I'm not sure how much it really matters. And with all the advancements in nutrition and training and sleep, players just know how to maintain their bodies in athleticism. Boyd can't get it to go. That's one she knows she should have drained. To the inside. Collier. Tina Charles with the block. Blocking isn't all about height. It's also about timing and smarts. The good news for Charles, she has all three. Back to Nurse. Here's the floater. That one goes in. What fantastic touch from Nurse. It's a huge ace up her sleeve. The ability to put it in the hoop from inside. Outside, Robinson. Fouls. They need this. No good, and she's now missed as many as she's made. Five of ten from the field. Here's Allen. Some solid defense from Maya Moore. Brown, pass to Collier. And fans now able to experience the game with virtual reality, even virtual cameras, where they can recreate any angle. Brian, have you gotten a headset? Uh, Blake, didn't you say you'd buy me one? I mean, seriously, though, how cool is it that with the WNBA technology, we can see what Maya Moore may actually see on the floor? Or how about seeing the decisions uh, like a point guard, like the GOAT, Sue Bird makes? Uh, I just can't wait to see what is next. The possibilities with this technology are endless. Five to shoot. Pass to Robinson. Shoots the three. And it's Nurse with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. So the Lynx now. Outside, Robinson. Brown. Pass to Moore. Now here's Fowles. From 13. Here's Collier. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Just so active on the boards. Collier with the effort points. They're almost a bonus point for this team. Allen, covered by Moore. Out to the wing. Shot from 12. Offensive board. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Can you imagine defending Sue without fouling? With her physical frame, <laughs> you might need a, a four-leaf clover. Good luck. The first free throw is good. The first player from China drafted into the WNBA since 1997. Han Su is absolutely a trailblazer. Drafted as a 19-year-old, she came into the league as the second tallest player in WNBA history. That's also good, so she hits them both. 
Well, we know about Han Su's height, Bryant, but what skill set does she bring to the floor? Well, she moves incredibly smooth and fluidly for someone her height, guys, and as a big, that's huge, especially when you're constantly setting screens and helping your teammates get open. Now here's Fowles. Back to Sims. Takes the three. Here's Fabienlay. Rebound, New York. Here's Johannes. Pass to right. Here's Sue. Hartley, right side. Lays it up and banks it in. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here is Sims. She's covered closely. So we see the Lynx taking the W here. And this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Boy, I mean, for us, too, it was shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the type of win they had tonight. And that'll wrap it up.